Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working on basically making our script more foolproof. We've left a lot of holes that have probably made some of our better, my better viewers at scripting uh, cringe as we've written these scripts because we've left out a lot of safe checking. Little locks and stuff that make sure that we don't run into errors. We're going to fix a little bit of that today. Now, we're actually just going to right off the bat test our script and find an error. Now, as you guys know, we're using that script to change the values of different values inside the player for every key, A through Z, one, uh, 0 through 9, all of that. But there's one more, but there's an issue. Well, if I watch the output here, I'm going to press spacebar. It's saying space is now a valid member of player, meaning there is no spacebar value. Nowhere. Nothing to do with the spacebar. Well, we could just add one, right? Okay, yeah, we could. But what about all the other keys on the keyboard that we don't want to worry about? What if we don't want that extra lag? There's a really easy way to foolproof our script. If player find first child, if you guys remember what find first child is, you supply a string and it tells you if that player actually does have that child with that name. If so, then, and we're going to specify key. So if the player does have a child named the same thing as that key, then, then, okay, go through with it. If it doesn't, then don't. And we're going to put this safe check in both of our handlers. And now, we will not run into that error when we press spacebar or any other key that we don't have a value for. Because now, it's double checking to make sure, oh, wait, something was pressed, but do they actually have a variable for that? Okay? So watch the output again. I'm going to press spacebar. I jumped just fine, but we're not getting any errors, which is perfect. Now there's another thing that we're going to foolproof here. Now you guys won't notice a change right away um, because we actually don't have any part in the script where, or in the entire game yet, where this will actually help us. But it will help us future proof as well. Now this is when we're finally going to use the all added variable that we made so long ago, about last week. <laughs> That's eternity ago, isn't it? And we're going to use repeat wait until player find first child all added. What this is going to do is double check that all of them have been added. And it's not going to give the player the ability to press keys and give keyboard input to us until they have all of their variables. Okay? And just so you guys know, this loop is going through each of these in succession. In this exact loop. Okay? So all added will always be added last to the player with our current array, our current script. So, knowing that, we know this will be safe. And then we'll just do player dot all added dot value equals true. And what we'll do later is when we have scripts that need to access these values, they'll make a dot change listener and but we won't allow them to make that listener until after the player has their all added values. Okay. So now we'll just double tap to double check that our script is working even with this next two lines we've added and if so then that's great tutorials good and done um it got over in less than five minutes quite possibly but hey that's a good thing isn't it so let's just go into our player and go down to seven why not press seven okay it's good release press release press release and press spacebar and we don't get any errors Awesome! It's working! Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.